Hey guys and welcome to another in the video guide series for Domain Hunter Gatherer. In this video I'll be showing you how you can crawl any authority website to find available domains from a specific authority website or even to find domains that are linked to from your competitors. So first I'm going to start by going to the Domain Hunter tab and instead of going to the Instead of using the hunt expired domains from keywords tab as we have in the past, we're going to use the hunt expired domains from website. Now you can see the, the controls are quite simple really. The main controls you will want to be using are the control the crawl website. And here you can put in whatever website that you want to um, find domains from and also the, the crawl levels. Here you'll want to set this quite high um, so that Domain Hunter Gatherer will be able to crawl sufficiently deep so that it's going to run for at least a few hours or maybe even a few days. So I'd set this to somewhere in the maybe 500 region and this will mean that it will run almost um, endlessly. Now you'll see after a few hours it, it'll only have gotten to crawl level 4 or maybe 5 so a crawl level of 500 will allow it to run for at the very least a few days so that you know if you want to go away for the weekend or even a week you, you know that when you come back it's still going to be working and finding domains for you and you're going to have a, a mountain of domains probably somewhere in the thousands after just a few days so from there all you need to do is click the crawl button um, now if you want to crawl a specific section of the website, say you wanted to make sure that you're getting domains that are linked to from just the English section of Wikipedia, you could do en.wikipedia.org and then just below it you've got the, the crawl URLs must contain uh, link, you can make sure that um, DHG will stay on the English section by typing in en.wikipedia and then every single link that DHD crawls will have the en.wikipedia part of it. Now if you wanted to crawl uh, the BBC but you only wanted to crawl say the Radio 1 part of, of the website you could put in um, Radio 1 into the must contain and it will make sure that every part, uh, every page that it crawls will have Radio 1 in the, the page address for it. Uh, conversely if you wanted to make sure that every page didn't um, have anything to do with Radio 1 you could then put Radio 1 into the must not contain uh, section as you could with, with anything else if you wanted to make sure that it didn't have um, any uh, domains that are linked to from news for example you could put must not contain news or anything like that you can use those controls on any website you like And you can come separate these so that if you wanted to make sure that it, it didn't have any uh, relation to the Radio 1 <coughs> and the news section, you could do news, comma, radio, and then it would make sure that none of the pages it crawled had anything to do with news or radio in, in the address for it. Then all we need to do is click crawl. From this point on we'll see Domain Hunter Gatherer doing all of the, the crawling for us and you'll notice that the first couple of depths will probably only take a minute if that um, but then subsequent depths will take a lot longer because obviously every time it crawls say 100 pages it's probably then going to find a thousand pages to crawl and then out of those thousand pages maybe another 10,000 or more. So what it's going to do is it's going to keep going on down this um, this process of crawling pages, finding pages, crawling pages and so on and then what we're going to do is we're just going to leave it to run and then we're going to come back in a few hours and see what it's done for us. Um, now obviously if you were running this for yourself you could leave it running for as long as you wanted because you've set the crawl levels at about 500 then it's not going to have any trouble running for um, at least a couple of days even on the fastest connection I'd have thought um, for something like that. So I'm going to fast forward now and you'll see Domain Hunter Gatherer doing its work. So 
So now we're about just over three and a half hours into the crawl and we see that it has it's crawled 120,000 total pages it's found 50 uh, 56 and a half thousand unique domains and it's tested virtually all of them and it's found 799 available domains now as part of this process whenever it finds an available domain it will actually check certain stats such as the page rank whether it's indexed in Yahoo and Google and it will also check for the different Moz and Majestic stats so in this you're going to get links as far as Moz and Majestic are concerned you're going to get the referring domains the domain authority page authority Moz trust Moz rank as well as the Majestic um, citation flow and trust flow so you're really getting more or less the whole picture as far as the quality of the domain so it's found 800 domains that have a link from wikipedia.org now as you can see it's done current depth it's on the fifth um, depth level and it's almost nine percent of the way through that so you know if you were to leave this for a weekend or a week even or, or maybe even longer it will just continue finding more and more pages because a site like Wikipedia is just unfathomably massive so you're very unlikely to ever get to the point where you're crawling or um, getting to the end of a crawl of a site such as Wikipedia or a major news site such as BBC, Huffington Post, CNN, things like that you know they've, they've got pages and pages and pages so you can leave pretty much any install just um, running and uh, the domains will be here for when you get back so I'm, I'm going to actually stop this so even though it's only 9% of the way through the fifth level out of 500 I'm going to stop it now so that we get our list of domains so that we can take a look at them okay and straight away you can see we've got all these domains 800 of them to be exact and we can quickly sort by uh, page rank see we've got lots of um, domains with page rank lots of different top level domains um, you can filter out based on any um, domain you like so um, let's say if I was looking for Irish domains you could filter by .ie and it will filter out all of them if you wanted to filter by .com you can just type in com and it will give you them there okay so I'm going to clear those and you can see that there, there's lots of different domains from different areas of the world um, it's also got whether they're indexed in Yahoo indexed in Google so these ones for example you know that these domains are um, they have a link from Wiki, sorry, from Wikipedia and they are also indexed in Yahoo and Google. Now you can also order by amount of Moz links, uh, by the domain authority. Some of these will have a page authority of one, that's just because um, where DHG will check the, the uh, page authority for the home page which it assumes is http colon slash slash www dot and then the domain whereas some sites or quite a lot these days um, their home page is actually http colon slash slash and then the domain without the www dot so to be honest when looking at domains I tend to completely ignore page authority Okay, some people like to take it into consideration, but really it's only giving you the authority of an individual page on that website as opposed to um, the domain as a whole. So if you're using uh, the domain for pretty much any purpose, you're going to be far more interested in the domain authority, which is the Moz DA, and also things like the Majestic, referring domains, citation flow and trust flow. Okay, and that's all all um, found for you as part of the um, availability checking uh, process so as you can see it's very easy to control the all you really need to do is put in your website 
set the crawl levels that you want um, if you are just doing one website then obviously set the crawl levels really high if you're crawling a list of um, web pages that you've you that you've scraped from another tool say Scrapebox, G Scraper, something like that or you just you know you've downloaded a list of pages or any other reason you'd want to set that to something far lower so that DHG actually has chance to go through each of the pages um, and so on if you want to just check the domains say you've got a list of domains yourself I'll cover this separately in a different video but if you have a list of domains and you just just want to check the domains only set the crawl level to zero and it won't do any crawling it will just go through the list and check the, the domains okay so as I say I'm going to cover that in a, a different um, video so I wouldn't worry about it too much for now okay so thanks for watching this video I hope it's been helpful to some of you at least um, the the expired domain hunter comes as part of domain hunter gatherer pro um, which is currently available for 47 pounds a month and um, with that you get 50,000 domain checks for all the Moz stats the majestic stats which actually uh, has a value of around 150 dollars per month um, you get completely unlimited access you get free use of the web 2.0 hunter and the domain auction hunter as well as unlimited support so if you've got any questions or requests for further videos feel free to leave a comment down below or you can get in touch via support at domainhuntergatherer.com that's all one word or you can sign up for free and leave a, a support ticket in the members area there okay thanks for watching and have a great day